Israel has vowed to take action to tackle violence in the region after a gunman went on a shooting rampage to kill five people in the town of Nebrak. The attack was the third deadly attack in Israel in the span of a week, which raised the total death toll to 11 people across three cities. The defense minister, Benny Gantz, said Israel will do whatever it takes to break the wave of terrorism and that his country is prepared to recruit reservists to conduct any operational activity in the region. נגייס באופן מיידי אלפי חיילי מילואים שיציפו את הרחובות ביחד עם השוטרים ויפעלו בכל מקום בו נדרשת פעילות מבצעית. Police said that they arrested a Palestinian suspect and an 18-year-old Israeli citizen on suspicion of supporting the Islamic State group. Hundreds of mourners attended the funeral of the victims as tensions remain in the region. I want to say one thing to the government, that the people are afraid, the people are afraid to go to the streets. They don't know where it will happen. It will happen in Bar Sheva, it will happen in Hedera, it will happen in Bnei Brak, it will happen in Tel Aviv, in Haifa, in all these places. It's just not possible, it's not possible. United States President Joe Biden issued a statement after a call with the Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett promising support to the State of Israel. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, who criticized the West for its double standards when it comes to Palestinians, issued a rare condemnation of the attack, saying the killing of Israelis and Palestinians would only lead to the worsening of the situation. Meanwhile, a huge rally was held in Gaza to mark 46 years of Land Day. Land Day marks the events of the 30th of March in 1976, when Israeli troops shot and killed six people who were protesting land confiscations. Our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Nebrak. Take a look. I'm at the scene of the shooting in B'nai Brak, and following a week of terror attacks, Israel's Prime Minister has called for licensed gun owner citizens who want to assist to carry their gun with them and defend against further attacks. And he reportedly called on the Palestinian Authority to stop paying salaries to terrorists who murder. In the meantime, hundreds of ultra-Orthodox Jews are attending the funeral on Wednesday of Amir Khoury, the Arab-Israeli policeman who lost his life during Tuesday's attack while saving countless others. The message is strength and unity in the face of terror. This is Jody Cohn for We On, World Is One.